two, one. <clears throat> so welcome back. I should um, I should really mention regarding this literature review file. This is more of notes, as it says, not really a literature review in the formal sense because I was not planning to publish this. More or less, I was just um, the the goal here was to revise the model integrated into our work for Aora, and um, more or less just keep track of what was wrong with the code and what the changes were. So next thing is to talk about um, what I updated, where the main entry points are. So looking at my revision to the code in the um, Gupta absorption code folder, um, my starting point for re revising things was again this solution nine uh, file. And I just kind of cleaned up the code, put all the global variables up at the front, and then make it explicit what the loop is about. So, for example, this is a parametric study of exhaust range. Um, here what this is, and some other variable, we'll say. So here's the main loop for convergence. I tightened up the convergence criteria, and then <clears throat> I'm plotting... Um, during the process of converging, I guess, just to see those are the kind of plots I showed in um, my notes on the subject. Uh, so again, you see there's a desorption step, there's an adsorption step, there's more explicit describing what happens in between using um, functions or arrays, um, and then writing that into the variable Whereas in the Gupta code, that just happened inside this file. So this shows you what the transition is. Uh, this is a, a Freundlich function, basically. And yeah, so that's what happens in each loop in this file. And then I just kind of left this other stuff here, make sure these plotting commands work. Before I go on, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and run this just to see what it looks like, um, see if it still works. Run, let's run the whole file. You know, it's probably going to run slowly based on how fine the, the resolution is, the time step, things like that. So here we have a red line that's a desorption <coughs> step, and this is an adsorption step, a blue cooling off. And then again, we see in the, the state space of the refrigerant pair <coughs> cooling off, where eliminating the refrigerant, and then repressurizing, etc. So already we've got some errors. It's probably regarding these other plots that show up. There's kind of the parametric study that's going on. Refrigeration capacity. And then this looks like it's um, about the overall performance. So this is giving a mess of plots, and then it's not entirely happy about the code right now. So I just was looking into what went wrong. First of all, I should mention these are some inputs, uh, fixed inputs, about how long is each desorption step, how long is each adsorption step. So that's the int t variable. It's doing a, a loop over those things. Based on this, uh, how many steps are there is described by this variable. So um, when I wrote this code, there was only one, and then I added that p 
feature and that kind of broke the plotting. So without it, probably runs more smoothly. I don't know how log space is going to work with um, <laughs> only one element. <coughs> so with this code run, it came up with a different error. Uh, must be a matrix. So again, it's just this plotting. Um, you can clean up this code if you like, so that you either get no complaints from one section based on here, or no complaints from the other. I'm not going to really worry about it right now, sorry. One thing I added was a, a special function that calculates temperature based on the, uh, the saturation temperature, in other words, the pressure. Uh, <clears throat> um, so it's a function of the pressure, or something like that. Uh, because this kept coming up a lot in the code, so I tried to use more functions. <clears throat> and for example, here's an explicit, what is water uh, enthalpy or something like that. Also, here's a function that spells out what happens in each loop of the cycle um, in, a, in a time integration uh, or in configuration. Mm -hmm scheme, I should say, time integration scheme, the desorption step, the decompression step, which we kind of overlooked, I don't know, whatever we did here, it, it's spelling that out. And then I, um, I made my own optimization study file. So this is um, kind of cleaning up that whole loop thing, and uh, there's a function now, converge, converge me, so uh, in this function I'm using the, the this Q variable instead of temperature for my convergence criteria, I think. Looks like it might be doing something like that. And then I'm explicitly putting in compression and decompression um, steps. I'm figuring out the time, total time of the cycle, because this time was neglected in uh, the Gupta model. So I was looking at these files again just to kind of understand. Um, so this optimal study is the outer loop that's um, a parametric study over the exhaust, the heat supplied, uh, that temperature. Um, at each step in here, it does this, calls this file, which does its own optimization on the cycle time. And then it calculates uh, the total time, the heat, up, uh, the cooling capacity, I should say, the COP, <clears throat> and then it collects that into an array. So, for each exhaust temperature, what it's doing is kind of a, a different thing than, than Gupta did. Um, it kind of uh, it creates an array. It's hard to describe. Um, the The time it takes to get from one value of adsorbed mass ratio to another is uh, is, is basically a function, so of the initial and the final observed mass ratio. So to determine like the, to the total cycle performance, you can specify the maximum and the minimum, and then just build an array that uh, allows you to calculate the time it takes to get in between any two of those, and then that also gives you the, the heat. Um, so that's calculated here, the heat transferred um, going between those two points. <clears throat>